Hello folks, uh, this is Chief Koti. Welcome to the Ultimate Tourism Chat Show. And of course, this week uh, we are talking to one of the finest communicators that you'll ever come across in, uh, yeah, in the whole world, I guess, maybe. Marcelo Risi, uh, he's the Chief Communications Guy at the UNWTO and he's here in Zimbabwe, in Victoria Falls to be precise. And uh, Marcelo, welcome to our podcast. Well, Chief, thank you very much. Thanks, thanks, for, thanks for, thanks for being here, actually. <laughs> Um, please do tell me uh, your, your, your view of FIFO so far. What did you enjoy? And, yeah. My view so far is that I say to, I mean, too short a time. Too short a time. Um, this is my second visit to Victoria Falls. Mm -hmm. I came here exactly 10 years ago when we held the, uh, our general assembly. Mm -hmm. And it was a very challenging one, but a very good one, because we held it the first half here on this side of Victoria Falls, of the Zambezi, in Zimbabwe, the second half in Zambia. Mm -hmm. It was a very, a very good moment. So I'm very pleased that uh, we came back for a hands-on experience, uh, leveling the playing field and working with everyone. Mm. And uh, we, we've been talking about uh, tourism recovering from uh, you know, COVID. Uh, your view from an African perspective, really, do you think things have turned around? It would be pretentious for me as a Uruguayan living in Spain, working for the UN, <laughs> yeah, yeah. to pretend to be an authority on an African history. Mm -hmm. Having said that, it is a lifeline. It's it. Tourism ticks all the development boxes that we need. Because when we talk tourism, it's not just the end product, what the general public sees. The travel from A to B, the accommodation, the services, um, the uh, souvenirs we buy, and but to make that possible, what do we need? We need the infrastructure. We need the hotels, accommodation in general. Mm -hmm. We need to train people. Education is key to the sector. Uh, we need uh, all the supply chain. And so much more. So what you see in tourism is the peak. Yes. But to build tourism, and this is why it's so important for you. And it's growing in Africa. And if you look at projections in terms of growth, for instance, population growth, Africa is the youngest continent mm -hmm. around. And tourism is a huge um, employer, potentially. And the tourism assets of the continent are so big. Now, what's the challenge to go out when we want to position Africa? outside of Africa. First of all, it's a recurring challenge. Africa is not a country. Mm -hmm. Of course, well, we know this when we're here of because course, we know we work with Africa. Yeah. But outside it's still, you know, a blanket perception. Yeah. And uh, this is where we need to talk and we need to come. And what better place than again to be here in, uh, in Zimbabwe, uh, a Victoria Falls to this country. And, and your, your view, right, uh, getting into, into why you were here, uh, where you were meeting with all these communicators, uh, media practitioners within the tourism space yeah. uh, for tourism boards, yeah. uh, tourism ministries in Africa. Your, your, your view on the, on, on the whole uh, workshop, like what what was the crux of it, and may, perhaps maybe you can start from the objectives. You actually well, the objectives of the of the uh, of this three day workshop was really um, tourism communication, tourism media relations, mm -hmm. um, but really underscoring what the, the, the true muscle um, of the sector. It went beyond what we were really expecting. We had hopes. You draw up a plan, you come up with a program, you invite speakers, and you send out invitations to your member countries. Now we had 20 member countries of Africa, mm. and not only English language, wow. also Francophone Africa. It's a huge bit of tactics to be so, so, so attractive for everybody. We knew there was a demand, and then people sign up. But you know that people send out too many things. Yeah. But they need to really make the way down here. Mm -hmm. Be here three days. Don't leave at the first uh, opportunity. Engage and work. And this was a working work. I mean, we, we, we broke the standard format. We didn't have the typical, you know, panels of experts. Mm -hmm. It was a level playing field. Mm -hmm. And you've been there. You attended. Yeah. Yeah. And yeah. we get the same yeah. level. And then we spoke. Yeah. Because uh, a workshop, I mean, it, it flows both ways. Mm -hmm. I learned a lot. Yeah. yeah. And my thing is ever say, I learned more than you guys. Mm. Now the objective was really, how do we approach very uh, basic, but nonetheless relevant pillars of what we're trying to achieve for children. 
how do I put my tourism story to the general media? Not only the tourism, the trade, but breaking out of the tourism side. It's very important. Yeah. Why? Because tourism breaks out of its impact out of the tourism side, because it means so much. Mm. What does it mean when we talk about tourism for the development? This is our role as a human being. And then how do you create lasting relations with the multipliers, so the media, which don't happen overnight. You create them, you build them, and then you maintain them. And, and, and perhaps your, your, your view uh, in terms of the reception from, from the guys or the, the participants, as it were, um, do you think they, they, they left with something? I certainly did, of course. Right? <laughs> well, we already started getting requests to have follow-up events. Mm -hmm. uh, from day one. Mm -hmm. So as of today, I'm aware of requests from Botswana, mm -hmm. from uh, the Gambia, mm -hmm. from the two Congos to have a joint one. Most probably from Ghana, maybe even from Morocco. Mm -hmm. And also to have side events and the tourism and the world travel market, South Africa. So it's already seven, seven. Seven, yes, countries related activities already. I mean, it doesn't happen just like that. Because it's a complex effort, it's logistics, it's investment, of course, it's public money. Because we're not talking private here. Yeah, yeah. uh, so that's a huge commitment. That's a vote of faith of the administrations to what we do. So the result of the resonating chamber has been, has been great. Um, also in terms of the hands-on approach, uh, the concrete tasks and assignments that we have throughout the course. And don't forget it, the fun part. The human element is key. Absolutely. Tourism is the perfect person-to-person, people-to-people um, activity. And this is what we, what we, what we saw here. We learned a lot and we, we created new bonds and connections. You and I. Yeah, yeah, of course. Talking about that, um, so you went, you went out to one of these uh, community areas yes. where, you know, it's a community center. Yes. Um, and just your experience of that here in, in Victoria Falls, what do you think of it? There is so much more to tourism than meets the eye. Victoria Falls is a headline. It's one of the wonders, natural wonders of the world. There are only a few, less than 10. And we're here at one. I mean, it's, it's, it's a huge advantage. But it's not all that uh, Zimbabwe, Victoria Falls, Zambezi. That's not the whole story around this marvelous place. It's its people. And so you have small communities, traditional communities, um, but who can also share their experience and their life experience. Mm -hmm. And they can, of course, they benefit from, from tourism and be part of them. Tourism doesn't exist with its back turned to reality. Yeah. And tourism can only be sustained if the community is there to also, you know, keep the engine going. And tourism can only be truly sustainable, not only, which is already very important, if you consider climate issues, economic issues, but also social issues. If it doesn't include the local community in its embrace, then uh, we have to rethink how we do things. Yeah. And, and perhaps as, as, as I let you go as well now, uh, I'm going to wrap up now, but um, you, 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 perhaps your advice maybe to, to these tourist boards um, in line with what you're saying, that you know, we can't have the tourism happening at the back with a whole lot of chaos or you know, sustainability of it is not being proactively managed, what would be your, your advice perhaps from where you sit uh, as, a, as a person who has you know, an eagle's eye view from the UNWTO uh, and a very critical role also to communicate certain things? But first of all, there is no one size fits all. Of course. And that's the beauty of tourism. Mm. Mm. Tourism means something to everybody, all of us. Mm. You filming, you talking, me replying. Of course. We believe in tourism, but tourism probably means something different to you, to Trevor who's filming, mm -hmm. To you, the chief, to me, Marcelo, and to all your viewers and followers. Yeah, yeah. But we share the view around the potential and the potential benefits of it. That's a huge advantage yeah. compared to other sectors. Again, so no one size fits all, but we have like a common understanding of its relevance. Listen first, the tourism board needs to listen first. Everybody, communications in general. Yeah. Um, yeah. It's my motto. I listen first, I listen second, I listen third, I listen. And then, of course, and it's my job. I need to communicate yeah. and reach out. <laughs> and see what's there and going beyond the obvious tourism story. Victoria Falls is a very good well position. Just, you know, the usual. Look it up online. Victoria Falls. And you have zillions of images. Yeah. Yeah. But that's only, again, the peak. There's much more to tell. And this can apply to many other 
um, realities of destinations, mm -hmm. which are at first glance not necessarily tourism related, but they tell you a lot about the community. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I stumbled upon this fantastic example mm -hmm. here in Victoria Falls on the last day during the wrap up, yeah. which is the Victoria Falls Oxygen Hall. Absolutely. Fantastic place. Yeah. Fantastic place. And great story. It, it is a yeah. great human story. Yeah. It was yeah. run by an orphan who used to be an orphan. He was an orphan mm -hmm. and he took the role on to train young orphans into a skill, which is boxing. Yeah. Not to be for them to become fighters necessarily, yeah. but to have a skill and of course strength and stamina mm -hmm. and embrace them and give them an opportunity. Yeah, and keep them That's the story. You don't need to talk, and my yeah. message to the board is, yeah. my friend, you don't need to talk about tourism to talk about tourism. Mm -hmm. When you reach that point, that's great. Mm -hmm. And uh, finally, you know, we taught you something here in Zimbabwe, uh, which we counted in uh, Zimbo. Zimbo. <laughs> you need to remind these guys. This is a domestic tourism campaign that we're running in the country. Okay. Country. And of course, it's a festive season here. Yeah. So, um, and I hope you, uh, enjoy Zimbabwe very much and so the best of it and perhaps you can keep it in your mind and also bring as many people into Zimbabwe as possible and share the story of Zimbabwe. It is a story, it is a place and it is a people. The people like you and the people, all the people that really uh, uh, were with us um, throughout these days, the, the hotel staff, the drivers, the people at the restaurants uh, in general. That, that's, uh, that's irreplaceable. All the other things are just that. Things, empty vessels. But the human quality, that's what really makes them come alive. And that's a distinctive, that's the added value. The added value to tourism is obviously, you know, the people. Um, I think that's the biggest thing, that's the center uh, that holds everything that has to do with tourism. And we'll continue to talking tourism here on the Ultimate Chat. Uh, and of course, we'll join you on the next episode when we see and yet another exciting human being just like this one that we had here in the Dubai. Thank you so much, Marcelo, for making Thank time. Thank you. We really appreciate my man. And uh, all the best in whatever you do. Okay. Yeah. I'll see you soon. All right. I'll okay. see you soon. Thank you. Bye bye. 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 Bye b